The UN has now started evacuating families of international staff. This after similar calls to leave by the US, the UK and others. Let's get the very latest with uh, correspondent Maria Gerth Nicolescu. Maria, what is the latest? Well, telecommunications are shut down in areas where fighting is currently ongoing. But what we do know is that Tigrayan forces, as well as their allies, the Oromo Liberation Army, are continuing their offensive towards uh, the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa. They're uh, now less than 200 kilometers north east uh, from Addis Ababa, fighting in a very mountainous and difficult area uh, for the town of uh, Debrecina. Uh, there, they say their advance uh, to Addis aims at stopping a humanitarian siege imposed on Tigray, where hundreds of thousands are believed to be facing famine, according to the UN. Meanwhile, the Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed said on Monday that he would himself go to the battlefield and lead the troops to victory. In this context, the UN, as well as countries such as France, are increasing their security measures. On Tuesday, the French embassy asked all its citizens to leave without delay, and evacuations are going to start uh, as of uh, Wednesday. Have we had any official reaction from the government in Addis Ababa? No reaction so far uh, to, to these decisions, but the government is continuing to say that it will be victorious, uh, asking citizens to join the battle. It is also downplaying uh, the risks on Addis Ababa. On Tuesday, uh, the Addis Ababa city administration uh, told uh, diplomats that the city is in a state of reliable uh, peace. The Amhara regional government is also continuing uh, to, to pressure uh, its uh, residents uh, to, to take up arms and, and join the fight. So the mobilization is continuing across the country. Maria, uh, we're getting uh, statements uh, from around the, the world. There have been mediation efforts, which so far have come to naught. Uh, the, the United States, uh, after that tour by Anthony Blinken last week, uh, reacting, saying the latest developments don't help. What, 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 do we, what more can we read into what the international reactions are? Well, the United States have been extremely involved in the past weeks in efforts to reach negotiations or to reach a ceasefire, especially uh, through their horn, uh, the, their special envoy to the Horn of Africa, Jeffrey Feldman, together with other international actors, so, such as uh, the special envoy for the African uh, Union. Uh, he's been really trying to talk to the parties and convince them to end this war that's been going on for one year, to end it uh, peacefully. And I think the statement by the United States, uh, while it refuses to acknowledge complete defeat of these diplomatic efforts, um, it does it does show that so far these negotiations have not brought any tangible uh, results. With parties still convinced that they can win uh, this conflict militarily, we'll have to monitor this situation in the coming days, in the coming weeks, especially around Debrecina and beyond. Uh, so far, there are no signs that Tigrayan forces or Roma forces or government forces are willing to lie down their arms. Maria Gerth, uh, Nicolescu, many thanks for that live update from Addis Ababa.